Now, thanks for staying with us. The rise of technology and social media has led to the emergence of new genre of comedy in Nigeria. For example, skate comedy has become increasingly popular in recent years. Skits are short, humorous videos that often feature popular comedians and actors, and they can be used to address social issues or simply make people laugh. Social media platforms like Twitter, now X, people should say it's X, <laughs> Instagram and YouTube, have also been used by comedians to connect with their fans and promote their uh, work. Comedians can use these platforms to share videos, images, jokes with their followers, and this has helped to make Nigerian comedy more accessible to people all over the world. So today we're asking, what direct influence do you think tech has, and social media has had on the comedy scene in Nigeria? Now, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or, or WhatsApp on 081 You can also follow us across all our social media handles that way to Africa. I'll bring in Ashiri in a minute, but I just want to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Because, you know, just as um, the, the music industry has evolved in Nigeria, I've seen how comedy is becoming a huge thing. In fact, mm -hmm. I would join comedy as I did so. Honestly? I think what? I'm funny. <laughs> Let me go and test it. No, you're not. That's not. <laughs> no. You're called to media. Even if I'm that. not funny, it's I'm going comedy to learn media. It. It's not comedy. It's like... <laughs> purpose driven leadership that is what you're going to stay there please we're going to learn it <laughs> you have my career i need to go on what do you think because i mean like literally when you hear the skit make especially the skit makers if you hear how much you know first of all they they are um they charge clients to create that Content. one minute or two Content. minute skit you see yeah i see now wow this thing is lucrative because the thing is, oh, I think we've gotten to the place where everybody needs a peace of mind. And one of the beautiful things comedy does, it just gives you that peace of mind. You will laugh and you forget your challenges. So you could be scrolling through your status or through your different social media timelines and you're just seeing different skits and it makes you happy. I mean, it's like... But nowadays, are, are people truly like funny, or is it just a situation of Nigeria? Because sometimes, though, I see this <laughs> abuse. No. abuse. I, I think it is it's glorious situation because you don't say guess I can't come anywhere to come. You like make it funny, right? Your problems are overwhelming. Oh, <laughs> <really are guess. laughs> oh my god. Openly known as Ashiri, Damilari Oluwashego is an award-winning author, comedian, brand influencer, and renowned speaker. He's the founder of Mystery Tribe, a community curated to help entrepreneurs and creative uh, creatives maximize their gift. He has built a stellar brand as one of the leading voices of transformation in Africa. And it's such a delight to have you again on the show. Hey! Thank you for joining us. You're funny. I should just start my own. Just start. Start, start, start small. Glory is there. I don't even know. But I mean, this is a, it's such an interesting conversation to have yeah. because you guys are down at the rain now. I say I won't, I won't come and do. Like, raking up all the money from Facebook. Please, you because I am coming to come and learn. You don't need to. You have a phone now. Just <laughs> understudy someone. For real. Someone. No, give me inspiration on what to do from this. Because you need inspiration. Yes, to be if, funny. If you need inspiration, you are not ready. Because Nigeria is <laughs> that means you are comfortable. You are very comfortable. Mosquito, they chop you. Absolutely. <laughs> but you see, you know, speaking to um, technology, right? The recent thing that just happened on social media that went everywhere. I think um, NJ took that story yesterday, where Josh too funny. You know, he does all these audition skits, you know, mm -hmm. and he went on um, America Got Talent, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, and everybody was saying it. I, I kind of like feel like that thing. They know that he was going to come three times. They know his stage and all of that. But I think what also gave his brand that leverage was the fact that you know he's done multiple skits like that on his because he's, he's, he's he does his an own influencer. audition. Yeah. No, he even does his own audition yeah. kind of like mm -hmm. setup. Okay. setup. He has a co yeah, he has an exact content like what he just displayed there. So I mean, like that is powerful. So just imagine if a lot of us are becoming a lot more creative and saying, you know what, let me see how I take this content that I've been consistent with mm -hmm. and I'll take it to a bigger stage. Because that's what I think he just did. Even though he's not mm -hmm. going to go anywhere, 
but he's taking his brand yeah, to, a net, mm -hmm. to a whole new level. So, I mean, yeah. like, literally, how excited are you for technology and in the comedy space? Yeah, it's, it's a very good time. Like, it's a very, very good, great time. You know, sometimes when I see memes of um, Akira Popo, <laughs> I love them, I cherish them. But just imagine for a moment that Akira Popo came in this dispensation. Oh. Look at the total number of conversions they would have had. Oh, it would have been crazy. Because most of their stuff that are trending now, it's about yeah, 15 man. years, 20 years. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. technology has given an immense platform. You, you make mention of Josh too funny. Of, of, of course, it obviously that thing was staged because FGT cannot give you slot three times. Like, like, they found him interesting. Mm -hmm. They know that he has something to contribute. They to are them. trying to target yeah. the Nigerian market. Because if Abbasi mm -hmm. gave us a template now, yes. if Abbasi broke, did not just break Guinness World Record, she broke uh, the internet. record of internet engagement. Yes. They know how crazy Nigerians are, how mm -hmm. passionate Nigerians are, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. about our own talent. Whatever trends in Nigeria mm. that's trending in the world. True. Yeah, so we and, have the numbers. Yes, and there is new market, emerging markets. Mm -hmm. So the world is fixing, their eyes is fixing towards us, like, okay, something's happening here, mm. so we need to plug in. Look at the new number of conversions AGT will have because of Josh Tufo. Absolutely. Some Nigerians have never heard of AGT, yeah. forget how popular they are. Mm -hmm. All right. Because of Josh Tufo now, they know about it. Mm. So, comedy is one of the greatest exports in Nigeria, now. and the beautiful thing about it is that there's no audition, there's no, all you need to do is pick up yourself, do your thing, pick up your phone, start one day, one time, hope you get the acceptance, and that's it. There's no restriction, there's no board of trustees, there's no board, one board that is auditioning that oh, no, you, you, you understand? So, you so, sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that. You hit that thing like bam on the head. You know why I say so? Even in the media space that I work, mm -hmm. you know, lately I wanted to do something so that they were saying, oh, I have to join one professional body. I'm just wondering, like, Technology has made, like, literally stripped all those bureaucracies. You know, the things that would, would have, you would have thought about who, which godfather you go and meet first, mm -hmm. who will now bring you into the industry. Now, your phone exactly. brings you to in the industry. If you are funny, there's nothing. nothing, nothing Do you nothing. understand? There's one guy that does one Babalao skit. I always find him funny. You know, <laughs> he, his Baba, he's, uh, he's just always failing. <laughs> he's always failing. So I find it funny, you know. He would just do the thing. Even by himself, he'll start laughing yeah. because he knows that he's not working. Yeah. Like, I mean, literally. I, and I watch a lot of, because again, Nigeria problem is too much. Yes. Right. I need something to cool me down. Yeah. <laughs> so I like to watch comedy so that my, my spirit will be, com it will be coming down. Sure. You know, so I mean, like, literally, yeah. I mean, just to, to buttress what you said, your phone has given you access to the world. It's a global stage. You that's that's any, your property. You don't need anyone's permission. Absolutely. If you are creative, come on board. No. People will, people will vibe with you. You don't, you don't need to run after anyone. You no, know, one of the days when in this same Lagos, if you want to be popular as a comedian, there are some comedy clubs you must perform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, if you are not funny there, nobody will come with you. Yes, comedy clubs do is still existing. I own one, but the options are now many. There's stand up comedy, there is um, skit making, there is um, a whole lot. So you don't, you don't necessarily have to be a stand up. Comedy, yeah. comedian, you can be a, a skit maker and you are doing your thing. You can be both. Some people can be both. Some are just one. Just do your thing. Mm. Well, you know, now that you mentioned uh, stand up comedy, which is like the traditional comedy that we know, where, you know, Chris Rock, the likes of you, Steve Harvey, yeah. they all rose from stuff like that. Do you think that now that skits, uh, skits comedy is becoming a sensation in the world, like almost all the countries do that? You think it's becoming a threat to stand-up comedy no. or is an asset to it? It's, it's not a threat. It's just, uh, it's going on, on its own. They are, they are not the same. Mm. What it takes to entertain audience in real time is mm. not what it takes to... Uh, you can record now, you shoot, before you know you do one or two editing, it looks funny. But when you're on stage as a stand-up act, it's very hard. Mm -hmm. It's a hat. It's something you must get it. Like God if you don't have it, you don't have it. Yeah, you are getting your thing back. <laughs> but here is, here is my question, right? So usually, for instance, when you have that, uh, was it the Easter Sunday uh, comedy shows mm -hmm. that you know everybody's rushing to get tickets because you want to just laugh away your sorrows. Now, right now you have options. So you can either buy that ticket yeah. or you just sit at home and scroll through your status and through your. You actually know pages. You go, you go on. They have. 
clips upon clips upon to keep you entertained for three hours at a stretch. Sure. So in that case, maybe if you are making like five million naira in one show, sure. because you don't have as much people turning up, because mm. people have alternatives now, maybe you're making down to three million naira. So I that's don't think that is happening. Shows, okay. are still, shows are still selling out in a hotel. Okay. My show, for instance, is sold out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey. It's, it's, it's on there now, it's sold out. Congratulations. Yeah, the place, Open Secret is sold out. The place is different. Mm -hmm. What it takes, okay, when you want, most people watch skate when they want to sleep. Like, <laughs> they use it, they use it as tranquilizer. What do you call a lullaby? Yeah, yeah lullaby. <laughs> They watch it when they want to. Some watch, they had. some watch in traffic. Mm. Some watch in traffic. Some watch to understand. You know, but stand up as it plays too. Because mm. okay, when you are watching your skit, yeah. are you networking also? Mm -mm. When you go to a stand up, when you go, when you go to a you physical go a physical location as you're enjoying the joke, you're networking. Mm. Right. You understand? Is there a carpet with skits? No. Yeah, so, you understand? <laughs> so every no 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 can take the place of the other. Yeah. They both have their have their pros and cons and mm -hmm. but the ultimate goal is satisfying the people, making them happy. Mm. So. All right, thanks for staying with us now. If you just tuned in, we're discussing influence of tech and social media on the Nigerian comedy scene now. And we have with us Ashiri Comedy. She said it's Ashiri. <laughs> no, because in, well, in, in, in Igbo, Igbo. Yeah, go ahead. In Igbo. His name Asiri is like gossip. Asiri, oh, Asiri. I, I get that a lot. Mm. You know, by secret. I think it oh, means wow. almost the same thing across. Across, the uh, just like my name, Owa. Yeah, yeah. And also, it means something along that mm. line. Oh, okay. So, All right. So, I mean, remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to zero eight one eight zero three eight four six six three. You can also tweet at Exos. Or follow us across all the social media handles. It's at Wayshu Africa. This is on auto auto run in my <laughs> in my head. Go ahead, Go ahead Glory. Um, what's the secret to succeeding as um, a comedian on social media? That's the open secret. You should go for his comedy. The way you ask me that question, I'm telling you. I was about saying, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> and you know when someone starts a statement with actually. We <laughs> <laughs> so, comedy. Because you. because I I I believe like. It's sort of like there's a secret, right? Because honestly, the question I asked seems funny, but there are some people that will do this because it's like, what's this person doing? But it's still engagement and it's like going viral. So is there a secret attached to, maybe you're probably not funny, but there's something you can do to mm. succeed in social media space. Maybe if you're, you want to be a skit maker. There are people now, they just wake up, they just do things because they want to do. We understand like you probably just want to get your phone busy, but... When you look at it, it's like this. No. No, end up, yeah. Okay. So you know, uh, I think there's there's a little bit of luck involved. Okay. Or even if you will be lucky, you still have to show up daily. Okay. Mm -hmm. You get the point. So the I, consistency. Yeah, like some, yeah. some factors might not be in your control. Okay. But what I know for anything, entertainment, anything, business. Consistency. What is in your control is you showing up. Mm. When it will work, might not necessarily be your concern. You may not know that thing for sure. But what, what I know is that, okay, I keep putting these things out. I keep putting it out. One day to eat. So that one that we eat, we compensate for every other one. So, but I see people, they do two, they, two, they do four, they do five, and before you know it, they say... They give up. It's not working. Uh, it's not working. It doesn't work that way. You do it, and then you do it, and then you do it. When you give up, you will give up on your own. You will un give up. <laughs> you understand? That's when so, passion is Yeah, because to it's, it's, it's hard. Especially now, I remember... They dated back to 2015, 14, 15, when, we, when Instagram was yeah. in 15 seconds. We were not much on social media then. We were not much. In 15 seconds, we do our team. But now, there are, there's, there are plethora of oh options. Oh, my God. Even on my, on my page alone. There's information overload. I see, some, I see some, some online comedians. I've never had them before. I get to their page, I see engagement. I'm like, you are, so this person has... <laughs> 72,000 likes, and I've never seen this person <laughs> before. True. So there's, there's a whole lot. Mm. So it's not like the, the real estate now, I, you know, is land, mm -hmm. but the real estate now is online. Mm. So in years to come now, when people start, you start, you start using your online asset as collateral. The same way you say, I have 5,000 <laughs> land somewhere. You say, oh, I have some 10 million six, followers. 10 million followers this day. And it will count. Mm -hmm. Because I think it counts. Yeah, yeah. you get it. So it will count. You will start using it for big transactions. Mm. Because it starts becoming asset. You yeah. start 
you start adding it to your weed. Yeah, because I watched a video yeah. today and they talked about this yeah. thing you said. And the guy said if he wants to sell his page today, yeah. he's not selling it for anything less than uh, I think about half a million dollars or something like that because that's how big sure. the page has grown and the engagement as well. So it's, it's completely, yeah. you're completely, um, mm -hmm. uh, what's it called, spot on. I was just going to touch on this, your open secret matter because, like, okay, so um, where I, when Glory was asking that question, the secret to success, where my mind flew to yeah. was that I've seen a few of your posters, you know, scattered all over the place and I said, why is a comedian saying open secrets? Because I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. Because, yeah, like literally when you want to, when you see all these uh, comedians, they will say laugh out loud. Yeah. Want to want to. <laughs> like yours is a bit unique. And so I'm wondering, like literally, it, does this, is like this guy really truly knows one secret to, to bring people to come and listen to secret? Because yeah, I mean, like literally your, your strategy is a bit different. And, you know, when I see the flyer, very professionally done, it doesn't tell me anything around, like there was going to, it, it, keeps me guessing. Guessing. Yeah, it keeps me guessing like mm -hmm. so how are you able to take that because it's a big risk yeah. it's yeah. a very big risk people are people that chat those kind of waters you know they are risk takers yeah. you know people just go with the flow that's why you see a lot of for instance movie makers they'll tell you i bet let's just go with comedy that's what we sell in the cinemas do you understand so you see them doing comedy mm -hmm. and they are sold out sold out sold out but when they go in a, to a certain line nobody really sends them so how are you able to do that you know you know, basically for me, I, I just got to a point where I aggregated my potentials. Then I realized that, okay, what is comedy for me? What am I using comedy for? So comedy is more than cracking jokes for me. I use comedy to bring insights. I use comedy to correct societal use. I use comedy for social commentary. So it's not just comedy for me. So when, when I was crafting the show, people have called me and show over the years. And of course, I know some secrets. Mm. But they are not secrets like... No worry, I won't, you will know on Sunday, actually. Mm. <laughs> so I won't, I, won't, I won't be tempted to review too much. But the idea is just that, while you are laughing, what are you going on with? I miss the laughter. What is changing within you? I miss all the entertainment. What will come back to you? And I'm like, oh, I should say this, oh. Oh, and I was laughing. I almost missed this, oh. Mm. That's the idea. So when I said open secret, there are several dimensions of insight that will release with you more. Mm. that you're going to glean from that day. Because that's where I've been all the while. It's not just about comedy for me. Comedy was just the leverage. To, I've got mm. books, I've done a lot in capacity building. But mm. I just said, that, okay, I'm doing a special, and in this special, I'm touching all. Mm. Like, performing for more than one hour stretch. And I'm touching all subjects. It's going to be funny. Mm. At the same time, it's going to be enlightening. Mm. So that's like that with open secrets. Okay, we've been calling you secret all the while. What is that secret? Go, 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 go. Mm. On Sunday, August 13th, I tell you, come and catch us there. Um, <laughs> let, 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 me, let, me ask, let me ask something. Yeah. So, um, if you are given two choices yeah. to make one between um, skits making on social media yeah. and the sort of one you're having on Sunday, yeah. which would you go for? Between skits making and which is the oil which is the my first love okay uh, stand up saw me through school I oh wow know, i'm emotional with stand up oh wow <laughs> <laughs> no, no, stand up we used to anchor uh, faculty dinners then mm. that, that 10k eight thousand era it was sustain for like two months mm. mm. wow especially if you are not lucky they're not calling for lord dinner yeah. they have money it's 15k <laughs> <laughs> Most in Kori, those ones they have money. You know they are working already. Yeah. It's twenty five thousand. Actually, wow. I can definitely relate. Yeah, because yeah, I wasn't a, I wasn't a comedian, but when I was in school, I, I hosted a lot of shows. So I was always looking forward to um um departmental night yeah. and stuff. And then when they're doing the what is it called, Miss Time Miss Unit? All those programs. Yeah, because they would pay like ten k, six k, two k was the highest. I did. You know, the of that thing. No. When I'm collecting five k for two months. <laughs> I said thank you one night. This is how I used to walk back to this day. You, you, you know what thank you? I will get back to I will get back to this. I will tell you, oh, I have a view. Come and eat this key. Yeah. This key is better than egg. You know, you die here. So, it's my, I'm emotional with it. Mm. Uh, content creation for me is, is a, is, it's become more of a necessity than okay. what I really want. Like, I love doing content, but skit, comedy skit making, I won't mm. lie. Because of my schedule, it's more of a necessity. I'm doing it as a necessity. It's not fluid for me. Mm -hmm. You get But stand up hosting is what I've invested in over the years. But the demand of our business now 
You know, that's so that you won't go out of business. This may be realistic. You don't hold on to something because you love it when the world is already tilting to this. Yeah, yeah. I was just okay. going to say that. How do you balance that with the evolution? You have to move with yeah. it. There's no you have to move with mm. it. You are going like this. There's a difference between joining the bandwagon mm. and sustaining your relevance. Joining the bandwagon is you are doing what they are doing. So some of the relevance is you are, are using the same platform. You are tilting towards what they are doing, mm. but you are still maintaining your core and your elements while tilting towards what they are doing. That's the mistake some people make. Mm -hmm. In the name of them not wanting to join the bandwagon, they become laid back. Yeah. Things start happening mm -hmm. and, and they are not involved. And they're gone. Wow. And when they when they start measuring them and they stop calling you, you see the index is you know, that's why they call it show business. Once they start mentioning names and you are not coming to mind, you are not a top of mind record. Mm -hmm. I know that village people are flashy. <laughs> They are flash you. <laughs> you know, so, I am a. I used to. I'm a. I'm a very. I'm melancholic to some mm. extent, and I'm a very reserved person. I'm very shy. I don't like talking. Now I'm doing a job that requires talking. I'm the type that I don't like blowing my trumpet. Huh. So and those are the things that will that will finish you. Oh my God! Yeah. I'm the man. I'm a, See, this, that thing used, used to do me somehow that I would not pick phone. I just finish a gig, man. I killed it. But that's the language of internet. <laughs> I know. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It has changed. Because that was how we were raised. Wisdom. Yes, now. It has changed. <laughs> that was how we were raised. Our mm -hmm. parents would say, well, what you are doing to the left, don't allow the right to know. When you do this, don't praise yourself. So that ah. you have to. But now we are in the age of praise yourself. Because yeah. in the very yeah. 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 there will still be your flower. Yes. Mm. Yes. If they didn't give you your flower, go and buy a bouquet. Yes. Buy a bouquet. I'll Put it on your head. If you don't give me flower, I'll give myself. <laughs> ah. If, ah, you don't understand. Because I was, I was having this same conversation with my son last night. And I told him, I said, see, we've gotten to that stage where everything that you have to loud, loud. Announce it. Loud. Because literally, right, we, we, the, the world is so superficial mm. now. And it is the person that is making noise. I told you, I said, that's the that is a is a is a noise maker <laughs> online. So as long as it's making noise, sure. you know you are top of. That's all you need. You need sure. top of mind and uh, brand awareness. You know mm -hmm. somebody needs to remember that mm -hmm. this person exists. Yeah. So the fact that you're keeping quiet, you're not helping your brand. Sure. You are not helping your brand. Oh my goodness. Ah, so comedy. I want to, okay. Well, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. So, there's this recent introduction of the Comedy Makers Sorry. Uh, Award, yeah. Comedy Award, but it seems as though the award, because I saw clips of it, I didn't watch the whole show, but it seemed as though it was just Kid Makers. Oh, no, that, yes, that's what it's for. Kid um, Trends Up Award, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 Yes, it's it's actually for, skit for makers content alone. creators, not really skit makers. So, anybody that is trending, yeah, that is creating creator, content yes. consistent, they yes. are yeah. capacity. There are strict, um, what's it called, um, measures, parameters, of course, I was at the award. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Right, so how about um, stand-up comedy? Is there any award for that? Yes, there are several awards for stand-up comedy. Are you, like, notable? Because I'm not, not... Yes, I think some, not not really known yet, but okay. some people are coming up to okay. bring up things. But I know over time... Because I feel like comedy is becoming such a big business that we yeah. should acknowledge it. The same way we have, like... The film business, AMVCA, AMA Awards, and then you have the Headies Awards sure. for music. I feel like comedy should have something that is loud. So like my everybody that line. This is dedicated to com is a comedy night. Sure. Mm. You know? mm. Yeah. So, Ashiri, if you had one thing to say, you know, we are in the age of technology, right? Mm. And you want to speak <coughs> to your colleagues because, again, in the midst of all these nice things we've said, I've seen very, very, what was this person thinking? Mm. Just kind of people, yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, of course, they cannot all be like you, sure. you know. So it's not like um, it's not like I expect everybody to understand that mm -hmm. there are also deeper issues. I mean, we have we have a lot of issues in this country, and I believe that when you've grown to a certain extent with your brand, I mean, you should also be concerned about sure. those issues because it will affect you. Sure. I mean, we they talk just now behind the scenes, say <laughs> somehow it's gonna be virtual talk because. Yeah. <laughs> Because yeah, sure. of, uh, I, I was at the airport yesterday at $1.935. Mm. I just looked away. Yes, we are looked away. Ah, <laughs> I looked away. Oh. But hey, so like literally, what would you say to people that have those platforms, those influence, you know, do you, I mean, what would you say should just be maybe at the, at the back of their mind for every mm. content that they put out there? Yeah, people should just know that content is not just you. You are not doing it for yourself. You are doing it for others. Is it's your legacy now? It's your body of work. So when you're doing it, you need to ask yourself questions. That 
let's say five years now, I come back to this content, will mm. I still be proud of it? Mm. Because there are so many things going on. Mm -hmm. And it's so amazing the amount of platform content creators are to talk about government, to talk about mm -hmm. religion. So, so how will you have that kind of leverage and you are now using it on jobs? Mm. You understand? So I, I just believe that we, people should be more intentional right. about what they put out there. It's not about, yes, we can flex, we can cruise, but once in a while, let's... Pass the message. Yes, because at the end of the day, we, if everybody is just walking around empty-headed, there will be a problem. Mm. Nine foolish man and one wise man. Last, last, all of them last, are foolish. Them foolish now. <laughs> because when the foolish man invite the wise man to his house, well, when, they are in a, when they are in a meeting, that's if they want to vote now, the foolishness will <laughs> we <don't even> win. <laughs> so foolishness will win. We so, so, so the society will just need to be more <coughs> conscious. I see content creators do some things. I say, wow, this is great. Then I see some content creators do something like, wow, why will you do this? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go on TikTok, I cringe. Ah. I, I don't ah. want to go there. I, I don't hey. want to go there. Like, I cringe for you. I'll be like, what? You did this? This is going on. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, so, and it's because the, when the people that really have this thing, they need to come out and do it. They need to show, they need to come out of their shell. The problem we have is that people that really have this capacity, there's something about being creative that might make you laid back. It's, it's kind of some form of arrogance. You're speaking, look in that direction. Somebody is preaching. The problem with creative people, yes, the problem so. with skillful people. I, I have that problem. That's why skillful yeah. people really make it. Hmm. You do understand? Yeah. Because it's, this thing is for the audacious. It's not necessarily for mm -hmm. the talented. Yes. Mm. It's for the person that dare to. So when a foolish person is audacious and he got the platform, he will be telling foolishness to us now. You will get sense. Why did you come out? <laughs> mm. You understand? So it's a call to people. Don't just gloat over what you have. Put it out. Go mm. out. Mm. Go out. That's, that's one of the reasons we so did good. open secrets. I was just like, no. With high time, we start doing big things in a big way. Mm. The problem we have is that we like to do big things in a small way. Then you now see people do small things in a big way. And that small thing will not, be, will not be overwhelming the big thing. If you have a big thing and you are sure that this thing is a big thing, do it in a big way. Mm. If you are not ready to do it in a big way, keep it. Don't come out yet. Mm. There's a level you get to that start small is no longer a strategy. Right. Mm. You right. Mm. Start small is for the first maybe mm -hmm. one to five years when you're still a baby. Three. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, 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 I can't tell you start small. It's mm. a business strategy. Right. The level you get to start small is not a salmon mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. right. Start small is a salmon for kindergarten. Mm. The level you get it big, you have to do it big. A lot is happening. Mm -hmm. You need to secure your space. Mm -hmm. You understand? So don't worry. Yeah. Catch me. Catch me on Sunday. On Sunday, <laughs> on Sunday, on Sunday. On Sunday. I got <laughs> I will see my time on live TV. Oh, oh god. My god. I was just going to quickly touch on, you know, this pressure, right? Because yeah. again, with all of the things happening, you know, I see that there's so much pressure to want to, um, what's it called? To want to... Hit it big. Hit it big and yeah. to want to also like <coughs> get all the big things, buy the cars, sure. mm -hmm. buy that, you know. So, I mean, it's a lot, yeah. right? You know, so how do you maintain your sanity amidst that? Because again, mm. with, with all these things, music, comedy, film, whatever... Yeah. <laughs> your last big thing is the now there. Yes, yeah, so they don't already trend. They don't your their yeah. trend don't cancel your yes, trend. Now. Mm -hmm. You know, so so like literally there's a the pressure is real. Sure. So how do you manage that pressure? How would you even mm. speak to people to just control that pressure quickly? What I tell people is you have to manage your expectation mm. and you have to understand that uh, one of the things we do is that we you want to appeal to everyone. No, it does. So one of the ways I stay sane is that I, I rationalize that these are the people I'm attending to. So in that my world, they are my world. Mm -hmm. I must, so I'm a star to them. Mm -hmm. So I'm constantly serving them. I, I wrote it in one of my books. I was on a flight one time like that. And the food they served in the entire flight, I was going to Dublin. In the entire flight, I was the only one that was allergic to it. Mm -hmm. I was going to the... So, yes, wow. so I not I not thought of it that so I now said these people their food is bad, but there are over 113 others that love the food. Mm -hmm. So, the fact that I was allergic to the food 
doesn't mean doesn't that make it bad. bad. Mm. It was not just made for me. Right. So basically, that's what that's how I stay sane. No. So when I, I don't I don't envy people. Mm. I focus on the people I'm servicing. Focus on your people. And I get joy on them. You understand? I rally my people. You have your people. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? If you want to do if you do your event today and I do my event tomorrow, your people are not my people. Mm. If one or two people will show, it's not it won't be the majority. Mm. So why are we pleasuring ourselves? Our job description is when you start doing your thing, your people will gravitate towards you. Keep them close. Mm -hmm. All those things you are trying to look for, you are trying to look for three million for four million. If you get it, fine. If you don't get it, you are still relevant. Right. You understand? Know you are servicing people. Some people, they don't think you are a big deal to them. The fact that you are not gracing uh, Insta blog every day, or you are not gracing blog, does not mean you are not big yet. Mm. You understand? So relevance is, you have to narrow it down. Mm. It's not like you are consoling yourself, but you have to narrow it down. That, okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. The best, the, the top, the best of CEOs I've worked with, go to their Instagram. Six followers, mm -hmm. private account. <laughs> is a, one, man, one man messaged me one time that she come and host a, a wedding of his daughter. I was ten, I didn't want to reply that DM. You know those DM? The profile picture was black. Mm -hmm. Private account, 13 followers. Oh mm. my god. I was just said so I, I wanted to dismiss the person. I was just like, normally I should send invoice, go through all those mm -hmm. procedures. I just said, I just put it one point something, one or something. He just said. Can you write an invoice for it? Hey? Mm? <laughs> oh. I said, let's take this convention to us. Oh. 13 followers. 13. <laughs> Private. And I've seen so many 86,000 followers DM me. 200,000. So, if they say 200,000, bro, 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 I'll be, oh, don't buy fuel for you. Buy fuel for you. We need to buy fuel. So, it's not a numbers are good, mm -hmm. but we need to understand that the mm -hmm. indexes of success, they are not. Optics, mm, they right. are deeper, they are Absolutely. deeper dimensions. They are secrets to me. And so, why are you not pressuring yeah, yourself? Go to uh, Open Secrets. Uh, Open Secrets. Uh, Sunday has it so all. much. Yeah. Oh, we were wow. having fun. Hmm? Uh, and I don't want to say Sorry, so no verse. Fun. So, before we go, um, next week we're doing something special for the teenagers this summer, right? We want to call it the Waste Teens Takeover. It's never been done in the history of Nigerian television. So in case you see any other TV channel copies, you know that they stole it, it from us. us. <laughs> so Wasting Takeover is us also part of what we want to do is to get young people to discuss some of the things that we discuss, but in their own language amongst themselves. So Yasmin Basharu will be the host for this event, and she's going to be bringing in all her teenage friends to have different... I mean, I saw the lineup of topics. I said, I, I, even me say, my brain no correct rich like this. So, so they have lined up of, uh, of topics from Monday all the way to Thursday. So make sure you tune in, share with your friends, share with your teenagers, share with young people, because the goal, again, is to get young people to begin to think differently. It's not just all about... You I mean, you heard what Ashiri said. There are so many things that are deeper than the superficial that we're seeing. So right. we must consciously put these kinds of content in the minds of our young people. To help also change some status quo. But thank you again, Asiri. Yes, thank you. Thank you, ladies. We thank had so you. much fun. Yes, Sorry we cannot really. take your messages. This time has gone. <laughs> now, before we go, ensure you follow us across all our social media handles at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop your comment, and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again comedy. We may say is society protecting itself with his smile. Hallelujah. Oh deep. My oh, sanity. Oh deep. Oh, God. Uh, oh. Oh, God. <laughs> I miss those mosquitoes. <laughs> we'll see you guys live on yeah. Monday. Yeah. Oh no, I wouldn't we will not be seeing you. The teens yeah, will see you on, on Monday. Monday. <laughs>